in a data center the heat generated by a server is primarily removed through airflow the heat removal capacity and heat build up in different areas in a data center are significantly affected by the airflow pattern in the room to achieve better heat removal in a data center one must understand airflow better here i will cover the basic understanding of airflow from an electrical engineer's point of view using the fundamental law of electricity the ohm's law consider a battery or a wall plug in power supply the voltage across its terminals changes as you draw different cu- different load currents when the terminals are open it will have the highest voltage since there is no current draw as the load is increased the voltage drops till it reaches zero voltage when the terminals are shorted the voltage is highest when there is no current and the voltage is zero when current is highest this graph shows the load characteristics of a power supply let us find the voltage and current values for a given resistive load using this power supply resistance is rep- represented as a fixed ratio of voltage and current it is shown as a straight line between voltage and current axes the point where the battery curve and the resistance line meet is called the operating point this point represents the current and voltage across the load using the given power source this concept from electrical domain can be used to understand pressure volumetric flow and impedance in airflow domain consider a fan pushing air through a duct this duct could be a one u server with a small f- fan or a data center with underflow plenum with large crack fans it is observed that the pressure created by the fan is proportional to the square of volumetric airflow through the duct that is for a given duct p by q squared is a constant we'll call it z that is the airflow impedance So voltage current and resistance in electrical domain are equivalent to pressure of volumetric flow and impedance in airflow domain it only takes 25% of the pressure to drive 50% of airflow this relationship between pressure and airflow is clear from the equation and the plot pumping power or power required by a fan to push air is a product of airflow and pressure or p times q This is similar to P equals V times I in electrical domain. By replacing for P, we get pumping power as Z times cube of airflow. In other words, in a given system, to double the airflow, it takes four times the fan pressure or eight times the fan power. These are called the fan loss and we will use this in the following analysis. Music